like they were dead, but then all of a sudden when it starts to warm up, magically those flies come back to life. Has anybody ever seen that? And it's almost like those flies were raised from the dead, or what we would say, a resurrection. And it's amazing. But now here's the question. When the flies are laying there and they're still and they're cold and they look dead, are they really dead? No, it's just an amazing thing about these flies that they can be frozen and stay alive. And when it warms back up, they can thaw out and just and there they go, they're off again. But you know, kids, those flies, they're not really dead and they're not really coming back to life, although it looks like it. The Bible does let us know that we actually have a problem, that we are spiritually dead. In Ephesians chapter 2, the Bible lets us know that we're dead in trespasses and sins, but in that same chapter of the Bible, the Bible gives us the great hope that God, because he loves us, he made us alive in Jesus Christ. So when you see that fly thaw out and buzz off, you can say, you know what? I have a real sin problem, but God has a real solution to the sin problem, and that's amazing. He gives us new life in Jesus Christ, which means we think in a new way that pleases God. We have new feelings and desires that please God. And ultimately, it really means we choose a new direction for our life. We choose to walk in the ways that please God. Amen? Amen. Praise God, my young friends. Amen. Um, do I have a, a young friend who'd like to pray for us this morning? Zippor, you'd like to pray? Um, go ahead. Let's, let's pray together. Amen.